Howdy there folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and about a week ago I released a tutorial on how to download, install, and set up Tekken Legends. And one of the things I saw repeatedly in the comments section was people requesting I make a tutorial for installing Sfax, or as it goes by these days, Pure BD Craft, the very, very popular Minecraft resource pack, texture pack. Uh, it's pretty easy to install, but I saw enough people ask for it that I decided to make a tutorial. So I'm recording this tutorial on Windows 10, but it's a pretty universal tutorial. And regardless of what system you're on, you should be able to figure out what to do based on what I'm going to do. And the very first thing you need to do is follow link number one in the description of this video to the patch. So this was created by Nithlas, great individual. Um, actually had a lot of communication with him during the... Tech at Legends and the Tech at Classic Reborn days because he was involved in the creation of the Tech at Classic Reborn days. So, so good, good, good guy, good guy. Uh, go ahead and accept the use of cookies just to get that out of the way. And uh, you're going to see that recurring on the BD Craft website uh, if you don't go ahead and accept it. But uh, what this is here is this is the patch to add textures to all of the modded items in the game. So you want to download either the 64 or the 128 version. I would recommend trying for the 128, and if it doesn't work, you can always go back and download the 64. I'm going to get the 128 because I know my computer is pretty beefy and can handle it. Now, when you open it, it's going to take you to a Dropbox, a Dropbox page. You, you don't got to sign in or anything. Just no thanks. Continue to view. Go up here to where it says download, direct download, and give it a couple of beats. It's going to ask you what to do with it. We're just going to save the file. It should, by default, go to our downloads folder. So we're going to close this tab. And we're going to close the first tab here as well. And we're going to go to link number two in the description of this video, which is the Pure BD Craft website. Uh, again, this is going to be link number two. It's going to take you directly to the download page. Scroll down, click accept again if it asks you. Uh, and this is where we need to be, the download section. But you'll notice before we can do anything, we have to accept cookies. And then we have to click here to accept the terms of use. So do that. And then finally, you can actually download it. Now, Tekkit Legends uses Minecraft 1.7.10, which you can see right there, so click that. And then collect, uh, select the version that aligns with whichever you downloaded, so 128 or 64. Again, try for 128. See if it runs okay. And if it doesn't, you can come back and download the 64. It doesn't change the tutorial any. You'll just have to delete the 128 and put in the 64 in its place. But I'm going to try for 128. I know the computer can run it. Uh, so just click Download. And it's going to ask you this question. You can become a supporter or download with ad. If you don't want to become a supporter, download with ad, but be cautious because it's going to take us to one of these ad pages where it's going to bombard you with advertisements. We're going to ignore everything happening on this page. All of this nonsense. We're going to wait a second over here. Oh, my ad blocker is not allowing me to go through this page. I actually got an ad blocker specifically for this page in hopes that it would sort of prevent a bunch of nonsense from popping up. It's not working. I'm going to click up here on my ad blocker and we're going to pause it. All right, with the ad blocker removed, we're now going to continue to not push anything on this screen. We're going to wait till up here it says, please wait, skip ad, close whatever that pop up was. I hate those download pages. They're the worst. But once you get through to the other side, you can save your file. Make sure your file is fax pure BD craft you know, double check because you never know what's going to come up on those dumb ad pages. I wish they didn't use them. Click OK. That's going to begin downloading. Once that is finished, the folders should be in your downloads section. And we don't really need to do anything with them right now. I'm just going to kind of move this off screen. And in the background, we have Tech at Legends, the, the Technic Launcher open. So with Tech at Legends selected over here on the left, we're going to go to our mod pack options and we're going to click that. And then right here where it says install folder, we're going to click open. So it's going to open up and we're going to double click on resource packs. And what we want to do, I'm going to drag this over here. So this is our resource packs. This is our downloads. We want to download both of these zipped files right over to here. Now on older versions of Minecraft, you had to combine these. You don't have to do that anymore. You haven't had to do that for a while. I think that's the problem a lot of people are having. That step is not required. Just move it into your resource packs folder. Close both of these and then launch the game. If you have the game running when you do that, it should be fine. But I normally do it when the game's not running. So click play and wait for the game to launch. Once you are in Minecraft, go over to the options, go to your resource pack. 
and you will see both the Sfax Pure BD Craft and the Tech at Legends Sfax patch. Apply them by clicking on them like so. You don't have to, but I would recommend putting the, the Tech at Legends Sfax patch on top. And if it's not, these little arrows here allow you to move them around. Once it's done, click done, and then prepare to wait. And depending on the speed of your system, this could take a very long time. But once it's done, it'll take you back to the options page and look at that. We're all sfaxed up now, looking a lot better. So obviously go into the game, test the frame rate, see how it looks. Uh, of course, you do have some options in video settings. Uh, you might want to throw in Optifine, see if that improves things. Uh, there is one other thing I want to show you. Resource packs can actually be real RAM hogs, so it might be worth trying to assign more memory to Tech at Legends. I showed you how to do this in my Tech at Legends setup tutorial, but if you didn't see that, go over to Launcher Options right up here. Click on that cog, and you want to do this when Tech at Legends isn't running, so make sure you close it. Uh, go over to Java Settings and assign however much memory you want within reason. If you don't have a lot of memory, definitely don't assign the same amount as your system. You know, if you have four gigs of RAM in your laptop, don't select more than three gigs of memory to go to Tech at Legends. In fact, I don't think it'll let you. I have 16 gigs of RAM, and the most it'll let me select is 15. So I think it automatically restricts you from getting like the exact same amount because that'll just make your system run terribly. But honestly, if you don't have at least four gigs of RAM in your system, I don't recommend even trying with a Sfax pack. Um, if, if you have four, you might be able to get it going. And if you don't see options above a gigabyte, two gigs, three gigs, it might be because your system doesn't have those options. It doesn't have that much memory. It might be because you're running 32-bit Java. You might want to download 64-bit Java I covered that in my previous video, so I'll link to that at the end of this. You can go check it out. And also make sure that up here where it says Minecraft Java version, you've got the latest version of Java selected, which is, uh, you see how I have the default and the latest. And then for me, those are the same. So just maybe go to the website. I'll throw it down below. Optional link number three will be the, the, the website to download Java. Grab the latest version. Grab the 64-bit version if you have a 64-bit system. See where that gets you. And if you want to know more about all of that, again, check out my previous video. But that's it for today. That's how to get Sfax or Pure BD Craft, if you will, set up with Tech at Legends. Hope that you folks enjoyed it. And actually, while I have you here, uh, you may have noticed I did try to use the ad blocker today to get rid of some of those pesky ads on the screen. I didn't have that set up in the last video because I generally don't use an ad blocker. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, so I have YouTube Premium. Uh, ads aren't really a problem for me in the places that I'm going online, but... I noticed in the last tutorial there was a bunch of ads on the page and it made the video look messy. And I tried to remove some of them manually in editing, but it didn't work out. So I just installed an ad blocker and it didn't work out for us either. Now, if you use an ad blocker, you're literally taking money out of my mouth. I can't buy ramen noodles if you're not running the ads. So if you do have an ad blocker, I'm not going to tell you to stop because quite frankly, I don't blame you. But maybe consider just liking the video, you know, leaving a comment, subscribing, supporting me in some other way. Uh, that would be great. Or check out the Patreon page, patreon.com slash howdyfolks, where for a dollar a month, you can make sure that I have ramen noodles in my kitchen. And by the way, that's not like some Patreons where you pay a dollar a month and you get like a thank you. You get access to a bunch of cool stuff. There's a Minecraft server. Uh, there is some like bonus content that's released. Me and Jenna do movie commentaries. I do update podcasts, things of that nature. You, you get some cool perks in the Discord. Check it out. Definitely check it out. Uh, until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I will see you uh, whenever I do more things.